Bonjour, I am Sandrine, the founder and leader of the Golden Age Spiritual Ministry. Together, we learn about the embodiment of our multidimensionality so we can reclaim our full sovereignty in this beautiful reality. My High Council and I are happy to welcome you into our movement of spiritual revolution. Please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new transmissions. Thank you for liking, commenting below and sharing this video. Show us your love. Hello, beautiful friends. I am so happy to share this transmission with you today. It's been a while since I've recorded something new. As you might know, I was quite unwell. I had this massive boil on my face and it lasted for about a month. I was in excruciating pain. I had to go to the emergency doctor and the hospital three times, take lots of painkillers, antibiotics and do all sorts of things to and apply all of these qualities on my boil basically to just be able to extract this gross, disgusting, disgusting pus. And um, on top of the pain, I had this constant huge thing on my face. So you can only imagine it's been quite challenging for me. And I really learned so much uh, through that. And today I would love to share with you that having had this experience for a month of being in so much pain continuously with also feeling extremely exhausted it really got me to drop even more into myself and into gratitude for everything that i already have and i have a renowned uh, connection and desire to really be there for my body to really slow down to look more after myself as here in Wellington now we are officially in summer and today it is actually a summer day because if you know New Zealand especially in Wellington you never quite know what's going to happen could be terribly windy very cold <laughs> very rainy on any day of the year this month, I have decided to devote it to the theme of abundance and gratitude. If you know about the Golden Drop membership, you really want to join that this month because I'm sending about yeah, five more videos now about abundance. And these videos were recorded for the year 2021 and 2022 as different shares in different programs, different bonuses. And I've kept them all and put them in a bundle. And I decided to shower all the beautiful people of the Golden Drop membership with all of these videos that are going to be drop fed. And it's literally having me in the high council at the tip of your finger because it's a text message that you receive on your phone and you can consume the content whenever you want. It is easy, it is cheap, it is amazing, valuable content. We receive trend trailing session every month as well as different videos like language transmission, meditation, mantras, and so on. So as we dive into this month, I really wanted to share how important it is to express our gratitude and to feel gratitude. Gratitude is very much interwoven with appreciation. And at times I find that gratitude can be challenging. When I was so bad, you know, I had this thing on my face and I was trying, okay, let's be grateful for today. And I was like, oh, it's just, it's just so hard I'm in so much pain I have no energy I have all of these things to do it is very intense to feel gratitude but then I would drop into appreciation and to me when things are tough and intense feeling appreciative of the little things is much easier so I would have appreciation for the painkillers that every now and then would work I would have appreciation for my daughters who are 11 and 13 years old, but really stood up to the occasion of showing how much maturity they have, how independent they can be, how amazing in the kitchen they are. I already knew all of these things, but I could witness them stepping up into maturity and service to help me out. And I was really so appreciative of them. I had so much appreciation for my ex-husband who came to the hospital and brought me food because I had to wait six 
and a half hours, guys. Six and a half hours to see a doctor and he brought me food. I had so much appreciation when we had a sunny day and I could just go out and sunbathe a little bit. I felt that the sun was taking the pain away. I had so much appreciation for having moved house and having a bath now. I literally took bath most nights. Bath with this amazing concoction of apple cider vinegar, baking soda and Epsom salt. And I put that in, soak there for half an hour, be completely exhausted because it's such a powerful detox bath. I would go straight to bed. I also had a lot of appreciation for having bought this amazing frequency device, which is called Healy. And the Healy was supporting me all the time, knowing exactly what I needed and sharing these beautiful frequencies of healing with me. So I also realized that you know, things come and go, and you know that, right? That's something, not something new that I'm sharing this uh, here with you, but things come and go in a way that at times we have a very good spiritual practice. And then at times it's just like, poof, we don't know what happened. It just, you know, came out the window. And last time we remember doing a meditation was like maybe even, you know, two weeks ago. So I, re I remember that you know, years ago, I used to have this gratitude journal. I was going through a lot. Uh, I was going through a burnout and then my mom got sick um, and eventually passed away. It's going to be uh, the three years anniversary soon, actually, in this week on the 9th of December. So I remember doing this gratitude journal, guys, and I would literally wake up and write every single day three things I was looking forward to experiencing today. And at the end of the day, three things I was grateful for. And at times I felt really stuck because I didn't know what to share in my journal. I didn't feel that much excitement had happened. It's not like I had won the lottery or had found a new boyfriend or my mom was well all of a sudden. It was shit, a shitty day amongst other shitty day. But yet I knew that um, that practice would literally save my, my life, save my, my mental health. So I stuck to it and it would be my cat. My cat often, <laughs> often wrote about my cat in that uh, journal. I still didn't have my dog and my cat was just, you know, giving me so many cuddles. My kids, of course, there. Some friends as well were often mentioned in that journal. And I started to realize at that time that I very rarely wrote about being grateful for myself. And to this day, I can share here with total humility and authenticity um, that I sometimes struggle to share how grateful I am about myself, how much I appreciate myself. And it is just to see that there is still work to be done there. So as I was sick uh, with this boil on my face, I was just, I'm actually appreciative of myself. I have so much gratitude of myself for having had the courage to move house, even though it was really intense when I had to do that because I was already so busy and I had to you know, move through a lot of fear pointers. I'm so appreciative that you know, my past self was courageous to take that step because now I am unwell, but I mean, literally in my dream home that has a bath and that's also very close to the school. So I actually don't have to drive my daughters anywhere. They can walk to school and they can walk to the bus stop. So I found all of these new layers of self-appreciation. And, you know, even when I share about this, I feel emotional because that is really the root of everything, isn't it? It is self-appreciation, which is, of course, self-love. And there's always new layers. And if, like me, you are a high achiever, you always want to better yourself, you want to go on this spiritual growth journey, you want to do all of these things, then it's kind of like you are oriented towards the future. You connect to your future self. As I love doing myself, and I often teach my students how to connect with their future self, but then it's kind of like I forget the amount of work that I'm already doing now because I always see what I'm lacking, what I'm missing out. And I know, you know, it's like I teach about this, but don't we all have that? It's like we know something, but yet when it comes to embodiment, it is completely different, an entirely different story. So there I was, I was my mind was trying to take me into these dark places of 
feeling sorry for myself, of feeling like, oh, I'm all alone again, you know, blah, 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 I have no partner, blah, blah. But like, like, no, fuck that, man. Like, I've been in those, you know, thought patterns, it doesn't serve me. I don't want that. Instead, I need to replace that with appreciation and gratitude. I'm appreciative of myself for being courageous. I'm so appreciative of myself for looking after my body because yes, I do have a boy now, but generally speaking, you know, I, I eat extremely healthy. So my body is going through something, but it's got the resources, the strength, the stamina needed to go through that. I have unconditional faith in my body. I have so much appreciation for all the inner work that I have done in the past and that I'm doing now as I'm going through this because I won't go into depression mode. I won't go into anger mode. I won't go into any mode at all. And if I go there, I will go there for like half an hour, an hour, and then I will catch myself. I will give a good kick in my butt and I will just think differently, change my mind, find positive thoughts. And if I cannot find positive thoughts, distract myself with blessed Netflix. Thank you, God. Thank you, the universe, for all of these Disney Plus channel, Gaia channel, Netflix. I can actually binge watch when I'm unwell because it allows me to distract my mind so I don't go into these dark places ruminating on things that it's not going to help. Every time there is something that's really bothering us, can we actually pause for a moment, look inside and say, I might, have I been appreciative enough of myself, of my strength, of my courage? Because if you're listening to this, can you realize now, please, can you realize with me here, just take a moment to pause with me here, guys, and actually realize that you are bloody courageous. You are so freaking courageous. Didn't you notice by any chance that life is hard on planet Earth? It's not a piece of cake. Most of us didn't come here to sunbathe at the beach in paradise land every single day. And even if we do that, we have moved through a lot to get there. And probably certain areas of our lives, we need refinements. We know very well that we could be subjected to changes in the world, diseases rampaging, the collapse of the financial system or all the system, whatever. Can you realize for a moment that courage is already in you? Can you also realize that self-love is already in you? If you did not love yourself, you would not be here. You know, so many humans go to the depths of self-hatred until they end their life. And it is the saddest thing we can ever think of. You know, losing someone because they cannot find any way of having a little bit of appreciation for themselves, for life. This is just, it's a, it's a disease of the century. It's like, it's no one special disease. It's like a societal disease that is present that we are continuously pushed, 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 pushed into having more and not appreciating what we already have, then we cannot appreciate our own self, our body, the people that are in our lives, even if our lives is so goddamn boring at times. It's an amazing life. Some people would dream to have this boring life because they are in war countries, in countries where they can dress the way they want, they cannot pray the way they want, they cannot sing and dance the way they want because people are oppressed. Being able to look at the bigger picture of what's happening on earth allow us to have also this kind of wake up call at a time we need to stop being so self-centered into our own little misery. And this is not to depreciate our challenges. Of course it is not. You know, I have the highest level of love and compassion for anyone that is struggling with anything personal. It's not nice. We can put that into many different angles. We can look at that in so many different angles. And I'm just sharing a few here. It's like, how can we have some people in our lives that can 
be present to simply mirror how we can be appreciative of ourselves. You know, like some of, our, of your friends, they, they say to you how amazing you are and so on. And could you be, you could be self-depreciative. Oh no, I'm not, you know, I'm not that nice. I'm not that generous. I'm not that courageous. It's like, I stop that at once. Can we stop? When, when I was young, every time someone would give me a compliment, I would brush it away. Oh, you know, no, not really. No, no, no. And it's like I was pushing the love. I was pushing the appreciation away continuously. And I honestly, I hated myself so bad. I really did not like myself at all. I could not imagine ever loving myself. So this is a really long path of reconciliation with the heart. Reconciliation with our human. Because we are the angel behind our human. We are the unified field already. We are a fractal of source already. So we need to place ourselves in that position to be able to parent, heal, activate, upgrade our human. This is what I teach extensively to all my students. I would love to encourage you, especially during this month of December, to find appreciation in the little things. And yes, that's even if family members are freaking annoying, if you get, you know, like super pushed around and so on. Yes, of course, good healthy boundaries are needed. But also there is something about realizing that our families can be completely imperfect, but it's the family we have on planet Earth right now. We just have that one, you know? And of course, we can create new families. We can have friends that become our family members. We can have our own children and so on. Yes, of course. But I'm talking here about like the closest people that you would see regularly and that tend to push your buttons because that's the role of family members. They are our greatest teachers, right? So how can you find appreciation in the little things? How can you appreciate yourself more this month? Maybe it can be your advent calendar every day you're going to open a little door to more appreciation. Every day, you're just gonna write one sentence in your journal. I appreciate myself for this. And one sentence, I appreciate life because of this or because of that. Of course, if you want to increase your ability to connect to deeper level of appreciation, gratitude and abundance and be showered by gift, because I want to show you, my audience, how much I love you and I appreciate you for your continuous love and support. And this is why I am sharing all the people in the Golden Drop membership with many presents in terms of transmission on abundance, increasing money frequency, abundance of time and so on, all in my Golden Drop membership. Remember the other thing as well, if you are not ready to invest any money, that's all good. I also facilitate the free monthly collective meditation that happens every first Tuesday of the month and we gather and we share our love and we receive channeled messages from the High Council and then we blast ourselves, our family and the world with love, with healing vibe, with amazing light codes. I would love to see you in the Golden Drop and or also in the Collective Free a Monthly Meditation. I love you dearly. I thank you so much for you, my listeners. It could be on any platform that you receive this message, but it doesn't change anything about the fact that you listening to this episode allows me to share what I love. And I love talking about everything spiritual, everything multidimensional, channeling, and so on. You receiving this allow me to share my gift and to anchor why I came here on the planet Earth. So from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate you and I send you lots of love. Bye.